Are you really busy? Here is your exercise solution. In this episode of the podcast, I'm going to share with you guys five freaky fast fitness hacks to help you fit more fitness into your everyday activities. Stick around. Welcome to the CrossFit Edwardsville Community Podcast, where we hear and learn from our coaches, CrossFitters, and Glen Ed community leaders. Now, here are your hosts, Dallas and Greg. What is up, guys? It is Coach G from CrossFit Israel. I'm one of the coaching team here. And in this episode of the podcast, I'm going to bring you guys five very practical solutions to the very common problem. Are you really, really busy and struggling to fit any fitness into your everyday activities? I've got some solutions here for you in this podcast. So let's get right into it. So let's say you have lunch or dinner. Your first fitness hack is to go for a walk right after eating. Most of us consume our food indoors, in a building, in an office, at home. Right after you finish your meal, get up, go outside, do a few laps around the building. The more steps you can accumulate each day, those steps really do matter. They add up over time. And that walking is a highly underrated exercise. It makes a big difference. So the more steps you can get, the more ways you can kind of sneak that walking into your every day, it's going to help you to get more fitness faster. It's also interesting to note, there's data on this, there's studies that show that when you stand or when you are walking after a meal, your blood sugar levels return to normal faster on those days, meaning that you don't have as much of a dramatic increase and decrease of blood sugar, but you are more level and more steady. It helps you not only to have more consistent blood sugar levels, more consistent energy, but also to be more awake, more alert. And I would argue that it kind of jump starts your body's metabolic processes to get your body kind of moving along if you go for a walk right after eating. So that's your first fitness hack for today. Second, get a standing desk. These are really popular these days in office and corporate culture. And I stand by standing desks. I have one here at the gym. I have one at home. I try and create a standing desk. In fact, I'm at a standing desk as we speak right now as I record this podcast. Now, while a standing desk is not necessarily a weight loss tool, there are so many benefits that do come with the use of a standing desk. First, like there's this expression in the fitness community that sitting is the new smoking and that we do know this, there is good data on this, that people who sit for long periods of time do experience more neck and shoulder pain. Long hours of sitting is linked via data and research to a higher risk of obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancer, especially cancers of the colon or the breast, and premature death. So if sitting is the new smoking, you want to give your body opportunities to be in other positions, even when you're at work. You probably have to put in a solid a tight eight hours of work each day if you're like most people. And so The solution then, having that standing desk gives you an alternative where you don't have to be sitting. You could be standing, practicing great posture and feeling better. One of the things that I have noted when I work at my standing desk, I feel more alert. I feel like my concentration, my energy levels are better. Now, that's not to say that I stand the whole day because standing all day can also lead to foot pain, leg pain, back pain. So, You want to have a good balance of these two things. What I personally do is like I'll stand for an hour, I'll sit for an hour, stand for an hour, and I alternate between the two throughout the day. And again, I feel like my concentration, my focus, my energy is better. I'm more alert. My cognizance is stronger. So a lot of benefits just anecdotally even to having a standing desk and spending more time upright versus sitting all day long. You, it, allows, it allows you to avoid all those negative health consequences that we discussed earlier. So number two, use have and use a standing desk. Number three, this ties in with our first one about going for a walk right after eating. And let's be real, 
you can afford to spend 10 minutes going for a walk right after eating. Nobody is too busy to go for a 10 minute walk right after eating. Related to that same topic along the same lines, you can get in those extra steps and that extra activity if you park farther away every time you go and park somewhere. Go to the grocery store, park further away. Go to the office, park further away. Go to the gym, park further away. As you do that, you're getting in the incidental activity of the commute to the building and the commute back from the building. Additionally, you're getting more time out with the sun, more sun exposure, that vitamin D infusion that you get with walking right after eating or parking further away. All of that contributes to more energy, more optimism, more positivity. It helps to address seasonal affective disorder, which as we go into the colder months is definitely a challenge for a lot of people. So take advantage of the simple fitness hack of parking farther away when you arrive to your destination. Number four, another way to sneak some exercise into your day, take the stairs. We've all heard this before, to take the stairs versus the elevator. Even if you like, maybe you work on the 10th floor of the building, maybe you don't have to take the stairs all the way up to the 10th floor, but going up to like the third floor, getting that extra two minutes of activity as you, as you like are going to work, as you're going to the office, that extra stair time is high value time to your fitness. It makes a big difference. One of my favorite exercises, one of Peter Atia, the, the famous longevity researcher, the famous physician who speaks on the topic of health span and lifespan. He speaks to the value of step ups and step downs for functional fitness. So valuable, so practical, so useful to functioning at your best, having a great lower body physique. Well, tell you what, stairs, going upstairs and downstairs, those are step ups and step downs built into your everyday life. It is free fitness and you should take advantage of it. It matters to spend, to spend that time going up the stairs to the office at the start of the day, down the stairs from the office, sneak in a little bit of extra activity. The box step up, step down value is right there, right in front of you. Take advantage, take the stairs. That is point number four. Point number five, set an alarm and do 10 reps of a favorite exercise every hour on the hour. Here's what I mean. Even if you're in you know, corporate culture where you're hanging out in a cubicle or a desk, it doesn't necessarily interrupt anybody else's life. It doesn't necessarily create any awkward situation. If you just stand and knock out 10 squats every hour on the hour, if you did that for 10 hours a day, you'd have 100 squats by the end of the day. And that 100 squats makes a difference in how term, in terms of like how your legs look, how they feel, how they perform. It is effective exercise. And you could do that even while wearing your business suit, even while at your cubicle or in your office. At the, You can fit that in to everyday life. Now, maybe you have a meeting with some folks. You can't do 10 squats in the middle of a meeting probably, but fit them in where you can, where it's not gonna be awkward or create any kind of interference with others' work space. But knocking out, say, 10 squats every hour, I have a bunch of our CrossFitters here that actually do push-ups when they're at work. They'll just, during a little bit of downtime, while they're waiting for their next appointment, they'll just drop down to the floor and knock out 10 push-ups, knock out 20 push-ups, knock out 30 push-ups, and they'll accumulate 100 push-ups over the course of the day. You can do the same with push-ups, with sit-ups, with air squats, with planks. Planks are a fantastic exercise you can do anywhere. If you have a floor there, you can do planks. Even if you've only got, say, three minutes in between this meeting and that meeting, go knock out a two-minute plank or accumulate two minutes of planks. Your core will thank you. You'll look good, feel good, live and perform at your best, even with this minimal investment in to, uh, to fitness. So to recap our five fitness hacks, our five freaky fast fitness hacks. Number one, go for a walk right after eating. Number two, 
get and use a standing desk. Number three, park further away every time you park. Number four, take the stairs, not the elevator. Number five, set an alarm and do 10 reps of an exercise every hour on the hour or sneak them in throughout your day as you're going about your work. If you need any more help with identifying what your fitness journey looks like, find CrossFit Edwardsville on all of the socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can find us and check us out on all of them. Google CrossFit Edwardsville, read the Google reviews. When you're ready, go to CrossFitEdwardsville.com. You can book a no sweat conversation for free. Talk to a coach about what your fitness journey looks like, and we hope that you do. It's been Coach G here at CrossFit Edwardsville. Hope you had an amazing experience. Hope you learned something. Hopefully you got fired up for some fitness in this podcast, and we'll see you guys in the next one.